again, Mrs. Iglesias. I am so happy to be able to make another video for you guys. Um, we're going to learn another song today. We're going to learn something new with this song also that we haven't learned with any other song before. Something different. There's something about the song um, that's going to teach us something new. Now last week we learned the song Super Califragilistic Espialidocious from Mary Poppins. That's a movie, it's an old movie, but it's also a newer movie. They remade it recently, a few years ago, and um, it was really good. If you didn't get a chance to see it, I highly recommend it. Now, um, today's song is also from that movie, Mary Poppins, okay? Now, it's not as difficult to learn as supercalifragilisticexpialidocious because it doesn't have that big word or many other big words, but it's going to teach us something new, so I thought we'd keep that Mary Poppins theme going on this week, um, and I think you guys will enjoy it. So I'm going to sing it for you a couple of times, and then when I'm done, I will teach it to you, okay? So it goes a little bit like this.
watch what you just repeated after me. But for the sake of keeping the video short and sweet, we're going to move on. Now I want you to sing the song with me. Okay, so I have the words there in the description. I want you to sing the song with me. Okay, from the beginning.
jump, guys. Hopefully you got those beats in there. You felt the rhythm. You could feel when you had to do that snap or that clap. Um, and now, if you were able to do that, you should be able to answer this question. Okay, now, what is so special about this song that we don't have in any other song we've sung all year? Okay, so think about it. What about this song is special that we don't see in any of the other songs we've sung all year? Okay, maybe how it sounds, maybe how it feels. I mean, technically it's both of those things. Um, but I'm gonna give you the answer because obviously you're not there to answer with me in person. But I'm gonna give you the answer. There's something about this song that's special, that's different compared to other songs we've sung this year, okay? And that is this. This song has three beats in each measure, okay? Okay, cool. Well, if you remember, guys, up until this point, I've always told you, remember, there are four beats in a measure, right? That's why every time when we sing a song, I say, ready, one, two, three, four, we count one. Two, three, four, we always count in fours. One, two, three, right? But in this song, if there are three beats in a measure, okay, that's something totally different. We've never had a song that has three beats in a measure. And because it has three beats in a measure, it sounds and it feels very different, all right? So just listen to even what the piano is playing, right? Listen to it. through it. 
And then next week, hopefully, I'll get to make you another one of these. If you have any questions whatsoever, that's what I'm here for. You can contact me there on Microsoft Teams. I miss you all. I wish we could be together in person to learn music, but I hope that this is working for you at home. All right? Hope to see you soon. Bye, guys.